Chapter Three of Chautauqua Tales. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ethel Bus. Chautauqua Tales by Ellen C. Bobbitt. Chapter Three. The Merchant of Sari there was once a merchant of sari who sold brass and tinware he went from town to town in company with another man who also sold brass and tinware the second man was greedy getting all he could for nothing and giving as little as he could for what he bought when they went into a town they divided the streets between them each man went up and down the streets he had chosen, calling, Tinware for sale, brass for sale. People came out to their doorsteps and bought or traded with them. In one house there lived a poor old woman and her granddaughter. The family had once been rich, but now the only thing they had left of all their riches was a golden bowl the grandmother did not know it was a golden bowl but she had kept this because her husband used to eat out of it in the old days it stood on a shelf among the other pots and pans and was not often used the greedy merchant passed his house calling buy my water jars buy my pans the granddaughter said oh grandmother do you buy something for me my dear said the old woman we are too poor to buy anything i have not anything to trade even grandmother see what the merchant will give for the old bowl we do not use that and perhaps he will take it and give us something we want for it the old woman called the merchant and showed him the bowl saying will we take this sir and give the little girl here something for it the greedy man took the bow and scratched its side with a needle thus he found that it was a golden bow he hoped he could get it for nothing so he said what is this worth not even a half penny he threw the bow on the ground and went away by and by the other merchant passed the house for it was agreed that each merchant might go through any street which the other had left he called buy my water jars buy my tinware buy my brass the little girl heard him and begged her grandmother to see what he would give for the bow my child said the grandmother the merchant who was just here threw the bow on the ground and went away i have nothing else to offer in trade but grandmother said the girl that was a cross man this one looks pleasant ask him perhaps he will give some little tin dish call him then and show it to him said the old woman as soon as the merchant took the bow in his hands he knew it was gold he said all that i have here is not worth so much as this bow it's a golden bow I am not rich enough to buy it. But, sir, a merchant who passed here a few months ago threw it on the ground, saying it was not worth a half penny, and he went away, said the grandmother. It was worth nothing to him. If you value it, take it, giving the little girl some dish she likes for it. But the merchant would not have it so. He gave the woman all the money he had and all his wares. Give me but eight pennies, he said. So he took the pennies and left. Going quickly to the river, he paid the boatman the eight pennies to take him across the river. Soon the greedy merchant went back to the house where he had seen the golden bow and said, Bring that bow to me and I will give you something for it no said the grandmother you said the bow was worthless but another merchant has paid a great price for it and take it away 
then the greedy merchant was angry crying out through this other man i have lost a small fortune that bowl was gold he ran down to riverside and seeing the other merchant and the boat out of the river he called hello boatman stop your boat but the man in the boat said don't stop so he reached the city on the other side of the river and lived well for a time on the money the bull brought him end of chapter three of jacara tales